I am I am a visitor. I know. Thank you. Welcome. I am a visitor and I live sometimes in the forest. I find it calming. And the animals there are not afraid. I do this? see people. And they sometimes see me. I shouldn't actually be there in the physical. But I am harming no one and I am not in public view. I'm your one. Yes. Are you the one who they say roams the forest as the watcher? As we know, Bigfoot. Ah, uh, no, that is one you call Sasquatch. I am reptilian. There is someone in this room that called me. It might have been me or Barbara. Here she comes. I caught you. Ah, Barbara. Is it you and your animals that I see? Do you see me? Yes. See you. What questions do you have for me? Is I'm just curious as to why I see you, not so much that, but how long have you been around me where I can see you? I was told you were my I've been around many years. That portion of the forest is very entertaining to me. And also I do like to look upon society from a distance. And yes, I am one of your guides in the sense that I can help you with some things. I ease your pain occasionally. Thank you. Because I see you suffer. And I do not like that. But your animals also have been suffering recently. Yes. And I am trying to help them as well. But I can only do so much. But I want to say to the people of your planet, thank you. You are a good species. I know that there are problems here as with many worlds. But your intentions are mostly good. If you could take yourself out of the picture sometimes and look at the world, you might see that it is a very troubled place, but that you can help it just with your attitude and your thought processes your prayers and energies. You give off good energy and want to help others, even though yourself is very ill. I find that to be one of the beauties of humanity. Even though some of you may be feeling very ill or weak, you want to help others. Sometimes that is the way I am as well but it is the way of our people to be that way. At least now it is our way. It's not always been our way. But I wanted you to understand. I am observing, I am what you might call on your planet, a bit of a loner. I like to observe and study and think rather than interact much of the time. I know there are many out there that are constantly interacting and I will let them do that work because it is for them to do. My job 
is to be who I am to be. And observing and writing and becoming part of your planet in a way that makes me feel comfortable and safe helps me with my own life as I'm from not from here but from very far away and from a very different kind of place and a different kind of topography a different kind of culture but yet I feel safe in the forest area the wooded parts mm -hmm. where I can control what happens and feel the energy of your planet and your animals and plants and trees as you call them I have learned to respect them a great deal they have much information from centuries of being alive and changing if you learn to read the plants and the trees and the animals and their past lives you will know that they are incredibly wise you may not see trees and plants as having any kind of sentience but there is history that they carry with them throughout history Your planet is amazing and is a great comfort to me. And I would also like to comfort you as much as possible. Because I see that you give your energy to others, even your animals. You reiki them all the time. And yet, you yourself are not feeling so great. But the good energy that you give them makes them feel better. And so I give my energy to you as well. And to anyone who needs it that passes by. And I see others walking their animals. You call them dogs. They are really not afraid of me. When they bark, they wag their tails. <laughs> they are communicating and telling me that they see me. And I see them. Is there any questions? Yeah. Um, somebody had a question about a problem that they're having with their dog. I don't know if you can help them at all, but... Um, Johannes, um, he said he, um, he wants to ask for direction with the problem that he has with his dog. He has itching from within. He said he's taken him to the veterinarian, but they can't find anything. And the glands are filled up with his rare and seems to suffer because of it. How old is this animal? Mm, I don't know. He didn't specify that. If it is a young animal, then I could help it, perhaps. But if it's an older animal and is well on its way with disease throughout the body, it might be more difficult. Okay. But I will send, where is Johannes on this screen? Um, he's not here. He dropped off. Um, it's, it's less than two years old. And he's in Prague. In where? Prague. Prague. Oh, Prague. Prague in the Czech Republic. I will see what I can do for you. That is all I can say.
be well. Do you have more questions? Uh, around winter time, I was in the forest, wiping my car off. I looked down straight. I saw a tall, thin being, a person, in a black cloak, all the way down to their feet, all the way down to their hands, very tall. They were kind of walking, not like we would walk. Is that a person? They disappeared. No, that was not a person. That was someone else visiting your world in a holographic form. Now, I know who that was because we are in touch occasionally. But no one to be afraid of. But if you would see him, he is rather not beautiful to your species. But he is a friend of mine. And that is all I will tell you Excellent. at this time. I have another question. Yes. When I was 10 years old up at White River, I was confronted with a bunch of reptilians. Were you one of them? No, I was not. Those were not friendly reptilians. Okay. Those were reptilians looking to gain, I believe they were looking for hybridization materials, but they were going to gain them illegally, and therefore it was not a good thing. But they were chased off. Okay. Well, like I say, I'm so glad to talk to you. I'm glad to see you. I'd love to yeah. see you more often. Thank you. You're welcome inside my apartment. I was not going to come, but since Solomon did not stay, I decided that it would be an opportunity for me to speak. And so here I am. Are you related to any race um, interacting with our planet at the moment? Yes. Yes. I'm a, one of the friendly reptilians. They do not have a specific name according to your people, except for the friendly reptilians. However, some of our people are in the alliance of Gurkvik Nir. I am not in that alliance. I am fr a free agent, so to speak, from a different perspective. Alliances don't interest me. I'm not an alliance kind of person. I'm more of a separate kind of person. But I will do my good deeds on my own. Carla? Uh, yes, hello. Um, there's people here that are saying that um, you and I were meant to speak to each other or something similar. I am you... having a hard time understanding you. He said that there are people here that said that you and I are meant to speak with each other. And he's asking if that's so. Maybe, maybe you have some, informa some information for me. I may have. I have to know who you are first. And yes, oh yes, perhaps one day we will speak. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, I am not one to speak a lot. And I have spoken quite a lot. Okay. Well, thank you. I Thanks will. I am feeling a little uncomfortable, so I will go now. Keep our camera very much. I love you. And I love you all very much, but from a distance. <laughs> Do you have a name? What did you say? Uh, somebody asked your name. <laughs> that is all right. I do not want a lot of people calling me. <laughs> You know my name. And so, therefore, I will leave it at that. 
blessed children of the earth. Be well. Thank you.